Alright, so we saw how this code here uh, and this allows us to handle the middle case and this effectively creates the bridge that I showed you right here. So this allows us to skip the element we want to remove and create this link between the previous element to the next element. And then effectively we will be skipping over the element we want to remove and then what we have to do next is just free the memory that was allocated to that element we're removing and then return zero. Just like here. So return zero so that you indicate to the user who called the function that the function was successful. And just remove those blank lines and there we have it. So this is our uh, this is the module that basically handles the general case or the middle case. Now let's look at the tail case. If you look at the diagram to uh, handle the tail case, you will notice that it's pretty, it pretty much resembles the one with the middle case. You're still creating this bridge, and this final element becomes a null. And if you actually examine the code, it will work perfectly for your tail case, with the exception of one small thing, and that's the fact that you have to modify or update the tail pointer so that it reflects the new tail. The new tail will be right here, right? So this is the new tail. It's going to be pointing to null. And to do that, it's quite simple. After you've freed right here, you just perform a comparison. You want how, how do you compare? How do you realize or how do you find out that you are actually removing the last element? All you have to do is just look at the your current pointer will be here when you're going to be removing the current next. Just perform a comparison and look at the next pointer that you updated to. See if it points to null. If it points to null, then you know you actually updated. You actually removed the final element and you want to make sure you update the tail. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say current next is it equal to null. If it's equal to null, all I'm going to do is just tail make it equal to current. So I want tail to start pointing to whatever current is pointing to. So you went all the way to the end, you were at the second to last element, you compared to current next, you removed it, you, per you created this bridge to null, and then you take your tail and you make it point to your new tail or your new last element which is pointing to pointed to by current and this is exactly what I did here if current next is equal to null now I know that I actually just removed the final element so what I'm going to do update the tail and there we have it now this code effectively handles the tail case as well now what if we have an empty list what if the element comes in and uh, what would happen is that head would be an empty list would be defined by head and tail pointing both to null. So you would uh, perform this comparison element to null. Of course, it won't be equal. And so it will come here. It will, it will go while current current will be pointing to head and head is null. And this will not perform this this while loop. You won't even enter the while loop because current will be pointing to null. So you'll jump through it and it'll just reach the end. So you want to do at the end is just return one. Uh, and this indicates that we really did not remove the element because either it was absent, and this actually even handles the absent case. Like after you perform all your val all your comparisons, and it turns out that the element does not exist, you just return one, and the user will understand that you did not perform the removal, either because uh, the element did not exist, or maybe the list was empty, and this is handled. So now we have this case handled. Now what if the list is has only one element? Now what's going to happen is that head and tail will be pointing to that sole element. And so if the, if a match happens to occur, th it will happen right here. Because head and tail are pointing to the same element, and that element, if it matches to the only element in the linked list, then it's going to have to happen here. And what you're going to do is, you're going to allow this to occur, and then what you want to do at the end is, you want to update the tail element. The head element will start pointing to element next. And element next is null, right? So you have one element. If you look at this diagram, you're going to have only one element, and it's going to be pointing to null, its next pointer. You're going to remove, you're going to make your head point to null, and you just want to update the tail also so that it points to null. So just add this modification and say if not head. So if our head is now pointing to null, then we know that we actually removed the sole element in the list, and we made it an empty list make tail also point to null. And there you have it. You've handled the one element case. And the two element case actually works perfectly. If you look at it, it's well covered by the entire code. And finally, there's just one thing that I forgot, and that's what if element is null itself, element. You just have to put a case right here. Say if not lm, 